Hey, how y'all doing? Uh, just a really quick look today at WFuzz and virtual host routings um, denumeration. So um, it's gonna, I'm not even going to do an intro, I'm just going to jump right in. Um, I'm playing a pretty old Hack the Box box, Areki, um, and I got a TLS certificate that shows me Calvin and Beehive of our subdomains. And anytime I see a subdomain in Hack the Box, I think I got to go fuzz, make sure there's not other ones. Um, so I run this WFuzz command here, right? So it's going to hit this URL, which is the IP, in this case on HTTPS. For each uh, word in the word list, it's going to update the host header to be the word dot recce dot hack the box. We try lots of different ones. Um, I'm just going to use this sec list subdomains, you know, subdomains top 1 million 20,000. And if I run this, you know, I'll quickly kill it like I always do with WFuzz. And I say, okay, so clearly the default case is this, you know, 487 characters, 66 words. So we will run the same command with a HH487 and run that. And so now this will run through. And I'm not gonna, I could pause the video and let it come back, but you know, I'll just spoil it for you. It's gonna find Calvin and it's not gonna find Beehive. And I think like, that's kind of weird, right? So maybe Beehive just is the default one and it's like meant to set up that way, but it didn't sit quite right with me. So I made this little test word list, right? And it's just like some dumb stuff, but here's Beehive, here's Calvin, right? And the other stuff I would expect it not to find. And so we'll come up here and we can get rid of all of this and just put in test and we'll run it. And so Calvin jumps out nice and nice and clearly different. Uh, and the other ones are all 487, including Beehive. And so, okay, okay, maybe, maybe that's right. But, I, you know, I'm curious, right? So I want to look at it a little bit more. So I'll put a proxy in here and do 127.0.0.1, 8080, uh, and then HTTP. Why does WFuzz do that weird format? I don't know, but we're going to go with it. I'm going to run it again. Same results here. I jump over to Burp, and I'm thinking to say, okay, maybe, maybe it really is the same. I'll just look at the requests. And it's not. So here's our Calvin. You know that 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 jumps out clearly. But then here's 790, 790, 790, 754 for Beehive. Beehive is different. And you know, okay, what's going on here? Why does W Fuzz not see it? Um, it turns out if we render this, just you know, maintenance site is under development. Um, look down here on one of these other ones. Maintenance site is under development. It's actually it actually is returning the same page. So, so why is it different size? Um, you know, this one right here, if we just up arrow here, you can see we lost a header. Um, and so the Beehive site doesn't actually have, here's Beehive, is missing this header that says X Areki WAF Beehive dot blah, blah, blah. Um, like other than if maybe Beehive is the WAF and it doesn't WAF itself, um, WAF is web, web application firewall. Um, so that's interesting. You know, we can just to continue to double check this, if I select all this stuff here and go down to the very bottom, you can see this is 486 characters. It's probably counting slightly different than the 487 here, but okay. Um, if I do the exact same selection here, you know, I get the 486 again right here. So it clearly is the same page and what is different is the headers. So um, all of that is to say, I'm gonna stop the video right here. It's important, you know, lesson thing I learned tonight and then I figured I'd let you all know as well, WFuzz, and I will say also things like um, other tools I looked at as well, are not looking at the headers when they're doing the length values here. So when you're filtering on, when you're filtering on length, that's not including differences in headers. And so you may want to keep that in mind and still check for that. Um, I'm not saying that's bad. Um, I'm sure there's probably good reasons for it. I've had to guess there's probably more variability in headers that could change for some reason that maybe with a page wouldn't. So that's maybe a more stable way to look, but um, Again, you just want to know how your tools work and you want to know what's going on in the background so that as you're using them, you're not making, you know, you know what assumptions you're making and where you might be overlooking something. So um, I don't even know if it's important that this header's not here. Uh, I got to go solve the rest of the box, uh, which I did five years ago and I don't remember it. So we'll see. But uh, anyway, that's all for now. Talk to you next time. Thanks. Bye.